right, Start guys. to the right, we have the Corsair HX850i Platinum Fully Modular Power Supply. We have the Corsair Vengeance LPX, two sticks of 4 gigabytes DDR RAM, 3600 MHz. And then we have the Kingston Hyper X Savage, 480 gigabytes solid state drive. And for the motherboard, we have the Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 7. For the CPU cooler, we have the Cooler Master Hyper T or Hyper T2. And then we have an Intel i7-6700K quad core processor. And then for the tower, we have a DIY PC 480 W mid tower. Alright, I'm starting out putting the power supply in and what I didn't realize is I don't really have enough room to actually work behind the power supply and get the modular cables in. So I ended up having to take the power supply out, running all my cables, and installing the power supply last after plugging the cables into it. That's the duffest cover to my fan. Alright, this is where we install the CPU. Make sure that you find the gold triangle on the CPU and point it in the direction as the CPU tray has a little triangle on it. There will be notches on the side of the CPU, it's pretty easy to figure out. Uh, make sure you put this little pin cover over the top, the black one, back in your motherboard box. Keep it for in case you have to return this back to the manufacturer. They'll probably void the warranty if you don't keep it. Now this is where I show you how, what DIMM slots. You want to use the two red ones. That way you can run a dual channel with the DDR4 3600 MHz Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. Pretty happy with this. It's actually really low profile. So even if I get a big fat CPU cooler, it's going to fit. Now here's the RAM cooler. Because of the RAM cooler, I'm not going to be able to put the CPU cooler pointed towards the back, but since I have two exhaust fans at the top of the tower, it shouldn't be a problem. Now this is where I make the homemade grommets out of some fun foam from Michaels. You're going to put a piece of foam in the back. It's got sticky tape on it, so trace the tape in the square circle kind of. It's kind of a weird shape. And cut it out with some scissors and use another piece and stick the two pieces together this way you can have the bigger piece kind of come in through the back and stick to the back of the tower that way it looks like a really nice grommet they actually came out really nice and you're going to use a razor knife with a metal ruler and cut a little eye shape so like big thick uh, uh, USB 3.0 cords can come through without ripping it open it's pretty easy to fit just take it off and do it again if you don't like the way it fits that white square in the back is where my SSD is supposed to go, but I choose not to put it there. There's my 3.0 or motherboard header. Uh, the IO shield, it has red lights and colored lights around the outside, like seven different colors. So it has a wire on it. Make sure that's pointed in towards the uh, motherboard. Uh, make sure where the headphone jacks are, are pointed down towards the PCI slot. That's all the uh, circle holes at the bottom and then the big fat circle holes where the mouse motherboard plugs are or not motherboard the uh, keyboard this is where we install the motherboard it has nine screws also nine standoffs I made sure I put the complete set of standoffs inside the case if your case comes and it's not set up with all the standoffs you're gonna have to use the package that came with the tower and it should have some extra standoffs in it so you can have enough for your motherboard not every motherboard is the same. This motherboard was very simple to install. The IO shield wasn't pushing against it like most motherboards. I was able to get the wire through that plastic piece to get the uh, IO shield plugged in. This is where I pigtail the active cooling RAM. Um, since I pigtail them, I don't have to use zip ties. It makes it a lot easier to get the wires looking clean, going to where they need to go, kind of like a phone cord. Uh, the feet are rubber foamed around the end so it slides right over the uh, fan mounts or the RAM mounts. It's really a nice setup. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this Corsair fan. Because of the direction it's sitting, I can't set the CPU cooler pointed towards the back of the 
actual uh, tower, so I pointed the CPU cooler straight up to where the two exhaust fans are in the top of the tower. There's no actual PSU up there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this is the installation of the backup drive into the plastic chassis that goes into the back of the tower. It was simple to put together. This is where I set up the actual CPU cooler. It's $16 cooler. It's very cheap and it is what it is. It did not keep my system cool. It spiked up to 81 degrees Celsius. Those little plastic f um, feet are really fragile. Uh, when I put them into the motherboard, one of them broke to the side and I was able to straighten it out without it breaking off. But my next attempt or the attempt after, it's probably going to break and be no good. This is where I pigtail the wire with a, um, I believe it's a shish kebab stick, little wood stick, cheap. We have a lot of them. That's why I use them. Um, it keeps the wire. That one's nice and clean now. Now I don't have to worry about zip tying it. This is where I put the SSD, the Kingston Hyper X Savage in the front. It's 480 gigabytes. It's got my operating system on it. It's really quick. And um, the screw pattern perfectly lined up right underneath the uh, optical drives. This is where I put the backup drive in. That square is where the SSD is supposed to go, but I choose not to put it there. I could stick a second SSD right underneath this one. Those are the SATA cables I hooked up. Um, I'm using Arctic Silver 5 for the um, thermal paste. I'm also using a little plastic piece that was part of the RAM container that held the RAM to spread it out. Uh, the bottom of my CPU cooler was the Hyper T2, so it has heat pipes that have canals. So I figured if I spread the thermal paste out, it would kind of get a full area, full surface over the CPU because I didn't think it was spread properly. This is a final look over the case.